Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I got a new box in the mail. This is from Influencer. I've got a new powder to try out and review with you guys. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. Inside, it comes with a little card saying what the product is and it is by Gavinci and this is their Prism Libra Loose Powder. And I'm really excited to try this out. I've heard some amazing things about this. This is what the external packaging looks like. I I chose the shade Satin Blanc, which is shade number two, and this one was for light skin, I believe. I saw the one for fair before, and it looked really nice, but I figured it might be too light for me. I mean, I am pretty light, to be completely honest, but I didn't want it to be too light. What this powder is, is it's four different powders in one. It comes with a little puff, which is really soft to the touch, definitely luxurious. You're supposed to tap the powder onto the puff so it's stamped and then you go ahead and stamp it on your face and blend it out. I want to test this out in a few different ways. So on half of my face I'm going to put foundation. The other half of my face I'm not going to put anything because lately I have actually been not wearing foundation. I'll go in with a little bit of concealer on spots where I need it if I'm breaking out to help reduce redness and then I will go in with some face powder over top just to help with oil control and even out my face I guess. I've been using translucent powder. So just to show you guys the difference of with foundation and without foundation, I want to see if it'll still work. So for one half of my face, I'm going to actually be using the Makeup Forever Reboot, and this is in the shade Y225. Now I'm just going to continue with my normal skincare routine and I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer where I need it, and then we will hop on into using the powder. Now that my foundation is on this side and then we've got concealer where we need it, time for the main product. All right, right off the bat, I love that this little sticker makes it so easy to pull this off. It gives you a nice long pull tab. Um, I guess just be a little bit careful with product flying out, like what just happened. Maybe just don't open it quickly. We're going to go ahead and take our puff. All right, we have our stamp. I'm going to start on the right side of my face just because there's no foundation and that way I won't get foundation on the puff right away. Oh, so pretty. I will say off the bat, guys, this powder, I mean, you don't really want to be smelling your powders because breathing in powder is not good for your lungs, but this, I feel like it has a little bit of a scent and it kind of smells like roses to me. And I will say this powder on my skin, it feels so soft and silky. I love the feeling of it. Even like touching my skin after, you can feel like there's like a little bit of something there, but it feels really silky and soft. Doesn't really give you too much coverage at all. All. I feel like this is more of a setting powder to set your makeup than to use as something on its own unless I do feel like this could be used to control oil because I definitely do not look shiny at all on this side and my skin does look mattified. Today's video shout out word is powder. If you comment powder down below in the comments first you'll get a shout out in my next video. So let's go ahead and test on the other side. These colors also look kind of crazy in the packaging, but once you apply it actually onto your skin, they kind of all like morph together really nicely. So I would not be scared by the colors in the packaging when you're looking to purchase this. Okay, so there's both sides of my face. This side definitely looks a little bit yellow. If I had foundation on my entire face, I feel like it would look a lot better. Or if I had nothing on, it's just... I've never done half and half like this before. I will say though, I definitely like it over foundation a lot more. It is also very light, very, very light coverage. So even like a few of my blemishes, it's not covering too, too much. And this foundation also might be a shader so off right now. So just ignore that. I mean, overall, I do really like this product. I feel like I'll definitely be using it more over makeup than on its own, but I love the feel of it. It feels so luxurious and soft and just 
feels amazing on your skin when you're applying it. I don't usually like using puffs. Normally I use a brush, but I don't mind it with this product. I think it's a great product overall. Have any of you guys tried this powder before? The Prism Libre powder. I definitely think it's really innovative and I don't really see too many other brands out there with a product similar to this. So it's definitely something unique on the market. This powder does say it's supposed to give a sheer luminous finish for six hours without marking facial lines thanks to ultra fine, soft, and airy light texture. Sets makeup throughout the day to use alone or over foundation with the Prism Libre brush or puff. Non-comedogenic. I definitely think you could use it with or without foundation. I don't see too much of a radiant finish. I mean, my skin definitely looks glowy and I don't feel like like it's creasing into my lines too much, but I don't really have too, too many lines. So it's a little bit hard to tell, but it does say a radiant finish. I'm seeing a little bit more of a matte finish, which I prefer and I like, so. Okay, I just looked at my skin up close. All right, so I am seeing more of a matte finish. It does say a luminous finish on here. So what I'm getting is I'm getting a powder matte finish, but there's also sparkle in it. So my skin looks mattified, but yet if you look up close, there's like twinkling glitter scattered around my face, but it's not like too much where it's like I applied a highlighter on my face. So I'm wondering if like throughout the day, it kind of like morphs into your skin and makes it look a little bit more glowy. I don't know. We'll see. I'll update you guys down below once I'm able to use this a little bit more, but I just got it and I really wanted to share it with you guys because... I was really excited to see that I was getting this. So if you guys have tried this, let me know down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.